Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made a Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider Cake. I've had quite a few requests to make a car cake, and it's been a really long time since I've made one. Uh, I made a LaFerrari cake the last time, but I've never made a Lamborghini, so this is going to be fun. If you like this cake, please give this video a like. It really helps us out. And if you really like this cake, subscribe to our channel right now because we put out a new cake video every week and I am super excited for next week's cake. So let's get started. I'm going to start out here in normal fashion with a couple layers of vanilla cake and of course, some neon buttercream. Then I take my Lamborghini stencil and I just carve around the cake with a serrated knife into the shape of the car. So this is a spider model of the Lamborghini Huracan, which basically means it's the convertible version, but that's not the only difference. The body is shaped a little differently and that's to reduce wind resistance. So I wanna carve out all those grooves and creases. Then I take some more buttercream and I use a big offset spatula to give the cake a crumb coat. I cover the whole thing and I smooth it out with a flexible plastic scraper. Now I'm going to cover the cake in a green layer of modeling chocolate, tuck the chocolate under the cake and press onto the sides, then trim the excess skirt away with a blade. Now I have to admit, I'm not usually a big car person, but after gathering reference photos for this car cake, I totally get it now. Like I can definitely see why the Huracan is one of the most popular Lamborghini models. It's gorgeous. By the way, Lamborghini did not sponsor this video. So unfortunately, they did not send me one of these cars to make this video. But hey Lamborghini, if you're watching, feel free to send me one. <laughs> Actually don't, because I don't think I could afford the insurance. <laughs> I'm not kidding. These cars can cost more than $300,000. I'd be too afraid to drive it anywhere. When I'm sculpting this cake, I'm trying my best to capture those hard edges in the different areas of the body. If it looks too soft, it's gonna look bubbly. And if it looks bubbly, then it won't look like a Lamborghini. It's gonna look more like a Volkswagen beetle or something. <laughs> While I was researching the Huracan, I learned that the maximum speed of this car is 335 kilometers per hour. So that's about 208 miles per hour. Pretty fast. It also goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.1 seconds. The closest that I've ever been to going that fast was on the Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point in Ohio. <laughs> that thing goes 120 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds. Let me tell you, it is pretty insane. I've been using my sculpting tools to carve in the details and I'm adding some black modeling chocolate for the darker areas of the car. This cake is obviously a lot of sculpting and etching. I'm using a few different tools here and this one's actually my favorite. No, this isn't a sponsor either. I just really love this tool. I actually brought it with me to film Buddy vs. Duff last year. And while I was there, I left it. I didn't bring it back home with me. <laughs> it took me forever to get a new one. But when I did, I made sure that I got backup. So I'm gonna be set. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to get one. So one of the main reasons I chose the spider version of the Huracan is because I wanted to show you the interior. Obviously, because this car is just a cake, it's a little too small to get into the really intricate details, but there are some seriously cool things happening in there. <laughs> Around the edge of the interior, I'm trying to make the design look a little bit like leather. I'm dotting these little areas using this fun little tool that creates like a stitching pattern and I'm adding seats with some more modeling chocolate and trying to get as many details in there as I can. In the center console, there's a big touch screen that's basically like an oversized tablet. And then underneath the tablet, there's a button for starting the car. So the ignition is not on the steering wheel column like every car that I've ever driven in my life, <laughs> but instead it's in the center console. 
And to put the car in reverse, well, you just lift a little handle that's located under the starter button. Of course. <laughs> Seriously, it's like something out of a movie. Now we're going to add some paint. So I mixed together some gel food color with some powdered sheen and some high proof alcohol. And I'm just brushing it on lightly. I really love the shimmer effect. It looks just like the paint on a car. You can see that there's brush strokes from the food color and I don't want that. I want it to look nice and solid like a paint job. So I'm just going in with my paintbrush and I'm dabbing at the food color. Now I'm using black food color to paint the interior. I'm using some different tones to give the impression of different materials that are inside the car. Uh, and I think that gives it more of a realistic effect. I want these headlights to look halogen, so I'm using some silver and some blue food color to paint in those light bulbs. Then I go in with some white food color and I paint in some little highlights that almost give it like a chrome effect. I'm adding some final details to the wheels and the rims. So I just add tiny pieces of modeling chocolate and then I paint over them with some black food color to kind of shine them up a bit. I want to make them look more metallic against those tires. And there you have it, a Lamborghini cake. So gorgeous. All right, let's cut it. <laughs> 